here. Get my first follicle scan. Keep my shirt. Love. The struggle is part of the story. <laughs> so it's my first follicle scan. I feel like my ovaries are nice and plump. <laughs> so hopefully this turns out like good news. Um, so I'm here with Wanda. Just waiting on a doctor. <laughs> got to say I got some blood work <laughs> um, I'll put a little clip <laughs> this is a cute little ball the stress ball she gave me it said IVF yeah, failure is not an option so I thought that was a good omen for today <laughs> Seven in the light. That's cool because the right side is the sluggish side. <laughs> Unless it's not sluggish anymore. Sometimes it's different from the IOI stimulation because we're using more medication. The idea is to try to get as many mature eggs. That's possible. So we're off to a good start here. I told you they felt plump. <laughs> grow as the week goes by. Right now they're still just baby follicles, huh? What I'm feeling now ain't nothing. <laughs> I'll be glad come retrieval day. Get them out. Right. Mm -hmm. We got all seven on each. That's good. Seven on each, you said? Mm -hmm.
today. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Okay, so you all saw my ovaries are doing great. Seven on each side. The smallest one I think is like 7.6 millimeters. The biggest one is 12.9 millimeters and it's only stems day four. So me. We'll see how it goes. I'm still waiting on a call from the RE's office um, with my blood work uh, to see if there's going to be any changes um, in my meds. I'm pretty sure there will be. With that one follicle that's already almost 13. Um, they're probably going to want to put me on the central tide pretty quickly. So um, I'm just waiting on those instructions come through still but um yeah <laughs> this is life and um heading over here to this uh class <laughs> but um yeah I'm still feeling I'm feeling a little crampy now um I wasn't earlier probably from the extra dose of gold no? hang on for a second all right ladies i'm back okay so oh. <laughs> all right so um so yeah what was i uh -huh. waiting to hear from the army so that's pretty much it um nothing else really to report except for that's what was going on my first scan out of the way I'm four days down um if there's any change in the meds it'll probably be dropped down to go to f and the central tide which will also mean i'm adding the um minipure but uh, okay sorry again <laughs> battery got hot <clears throat> turned off the video so yeah that's it for today this it's been my first follicle scan it stems day four um of IVF and still <laughs> waiting to hear from the RE so um you know meds will probably change pretty soon <laughs> considering how well I'm responding um, good news my right side is just as responsive as my left side so hopefully that continues <clears throat> what I'm hearing from um, other women you know things can pick up in the next few days so um, you know right now it's looking like I have 14 follicles things can pick up and I can develop some more maybe I don't know um, and then they can pick up again uh, by retrieval time so uh, really interested in uh, <laughs> what this will look like um, Hopefully not too, 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 too much. But uh, it'd be nice to see what comes out. So, thanks for following me around, ladies. <laughs> I finally made it home. And uh, I'm going to go in here and uh, rest up a bit because now I feel tired again. But you know what? I feel tired after the hairdresser all the time. Um, <laughs> I always feel tired. <clears throat> Maybe go in here and take my typical after the hairdresser nap. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, um, today's a good day. It's nice and sunny. It's hot. Um, there's a big oak tree here over my driveway, so it's nice and shady. <clears throat> Uh, where I am um, but it's a beautiful day oh I know I thought maybe I'll go out and go to the movies or something I don't know I'm here by myself today my niece is at her new place she's not completely moved out but um, she's at her new place she's working from there today so <clears throat> um, I guess she's got her internet and stuff and 
she's got her own room and the baby's got her, her own room and um, she said it's feeling like home so um, I'm glad that she's feeling like home in her new place and <sighs> I get to start the cleanup efforts of my place to get it back to what it was before they moved in so that I can breathe easy but yeah that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to go in here, watch some videos, edit some videos, watch some TV, catch up on the DVR, and um, just chillax for the rest of the day. So, hope you ladies have a great day, um, a great Saturday, and uh, I'm just going to chill. <laughs> so, thanks for following along. <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed, go on, hit that subscribe button. Yes, yes. Um, or is it over here? It's probably over here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where it is. It's right here. Go ahead, hit my face, and subscribe to the channel. Um, comment, let me know what you think. Um, if you don't follow me on social media, you want all the up-to-date stuff, right here. Follow me at Tamika TTC. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy today. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm feeling a little crampy and like heavy, bloaty, but I'm feeling really good today. Um, not stressed out about the scale. Um, I'm obviously not doing keto since I went to Popeyes, right? Um, but uh, just not today. I'll be back on it tomorrow. Um, or I should say tonight. I'll have a keto meal tonight um, so that my sugars are not high tomorrow. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, let's talk about the meds. The gonal F, um, no big deal. Um, I think the more, the more I shoot the gonal F, the more sensitive, um, uh, my stomach gets. Probably, I do switch sides, but I sh take two shots a day, so, um, it's starting to get a little sensitive when I stick the needle. But other than that, um, it's pretty fine. Injecting in the medicine doesn't hurt, doesn't burn. I know Minipure burns a little bit. Um, so I'm not excited about that. But um, for now, it's just the needle. The needle stings a little bit uh, going in. And I think that's just because the area is just sensitive because I'm, I'm doing the extra shots. Um, the doxycycline. <laughs> There's instructions all over the doxycycline. Take it with a whole bunch of water, which is why I down so much water. Um... And you're supposed to take it with food. Well, I take it when I take my shots. And I have to take my shots. I'm supposed to take the doxycycline twice a day. I could take the doxycycline probably more around the time that I eat. So like 9 and 9. But I associate the doxycycline with my shots. So I wanted to take it around the same time that I take my shots. So that I get it. Um, at the same time every day. So, I'm not looking to eat breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning. Like, that's not my thing. Um, so I often forget to eat when I take the doxycycline. And it's, today is the fourth day. And, um, yesterday I forgot. If you saw me on social media, I mentioned it. But, I forgot to take to eat with the doxycycline and it made me extremely nauseous and a little dizzy. So I put down a handful of walnuts and went back to bed and eventually it passed. Um, but for those ladies out there who are on doxycycline as instructed, eat, please <laughs> eat when you take your doxycycline because it's not fun. It's not fun on an empty stomach. Not at all. So, um, that's that. Um, today is my last day on the aspirin. So, um, I took that with my breakfast. Um, so that, that's the last day I'll be taking the aspirin. So, as of right now, the only thing I'm on is the gonal F and the doxycycline. So, I've got another six days on doxycycline. I do take that twice a day. Um, with uh, my morning shot and my evening shot, the evening one is easier because I'm usually eating around 7 o'clock. It's easier for me to get some food around that time since I can't eat after 8 anyway, thanks to my dawn phenomenon and my insulin resistance. But, um, yeah, so 
um, you know, when those instructions come in, you know, that'll change. I'll be taking, in the evening, I'll still be taking the uh, gonal F, but in the mornings, I'll be taking Menopure, gonal F, and Cetratide, um, along with the doxycycline. So, here we go. <laughs> hey, ladies, I'm back. <laughs> I just got the call from my RE. So, uh, my blood work is in. And um, he said, usually by this time, they look for my estradiol to be between 110 and 250, something like that. But mine was like 400 and something. So he's backing down on the going to F. So that means um, I will take um, every night, I will still take the going to F at 150 IUs. And then starting tomorrow in the morning, I will take the Cetratide. I will take the Minipure. The Minipure is 75 I use. I forget how much the Cetratide is, um, but no Gonal F in the morning. And um, I see him again Tuesday morning. Um, so today, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I see him again in three days. So I go back on Tuesday morning for another follicle check. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so far so good. Um, I'm responding really well. So there, he's backing off the gonal F. Um, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Considering I was concerned that I wasn't going to respond well at all. Thanks to my weight, that's the message he's been putting in my head all this time. Um, but I'm glad that I'm responding really well and uh, things are, are going well. So I'll start the Cetratide because that one follicle is almost 13. So I, I figured he would start the Cetratide um, starting tomorrow morning. So Cetratide, Minipure in the morning. So I'm going from two shots a day to three shots a day. So it'll be two shots in the morning instead of three and still the one shot of 150 going on at night so yay and i see him again tuesday morning um yep <laughs> so now i can officially close this here video <laughs> and that's pretty much it sticky baby dust to all those ttc bye